Hey boys and girls, welcome to my new Defined YouTube channel to discuss about the business and technology in the field of Internet of Things, also called IoT. My goal is to bring my 20 years of industry learnings for you in the form of short videos dedicated for the specific topic of the day. And today's topic is about the EASIM and the EUICC. And the EUICC is specifically for the industrial or business IoT, not for the consumer IoT. What is the service and the value we can expect of it? And how do we get this everything on the place and work? Before starting, do subscribe to my channel and click the bell button in order to receive a notification when a new video is available. Thank you. So what is eSIM or EUICC? In short, EUICC stands for the Embedded Universal Integrated Circuit Card, also called eSIM. Now, we often hear about the eSIM and the possibility to switch the service connectivity provider without switching the physical SIM card itself. Attention, first big learning here. First of all, the physical form factor has nothing to do to switch the connectivity service provider from one to another. For switching the service connectivity provider, we need to have various elements into the place. So let's dive into those ones. First of all, you need the SIM card. The SIM card can come in the standard packing format, like here, 2FF, 3FF, 4FF. 2FF, 3FF, 4FF, also called, so called a mini uh, micro or nano SIM card. And then you also have the so-called embedded form factor, also called MFF2, machine-to-machine -machine form factor. Secondly, you will need the device, which comes with the cellular module, and the cellular module has to follow the requirements for the EUICC given by GSM Association and applicable for any SIM card form factor. Below in the description card, you can find a web link for more detailed device requirements. Thirdly, you will need at least two qualified service connectivity providers or a technology company who has put in place so-called remote SIM provisioning platform allowing to perform the so-called connectivity profile switch accordingly. So to wrap up today's video, first of all, you need to have the SIM card either in the standard packing format or in the embedded format. Secondly, you have to have the IoT device coming with the cellular module, cellular module suppliers, either Quectel, Ubox, Syncom, etc., etc., which is following the so-called EUICC standard. And thirdly, and most importantly, then you have to have the service which is allowing you to switch between the connectivity service providers in order to get the better coverage or better pricing accordingly. I hope my today's video has brought some value for you. And if so, please subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and in the below descriptions, there is a lot of web links, a lot of more information available. And as always, as always, keep safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.